Dakota Keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial. And today we're looking at another plugin by Exceldro that's had a massive update, the freeze filter plugin. We're not gonna be freezing filters, we're gonna be doing some insane stuff. Take a look at this. Oh god, I look embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Why? Why would I do that? But yeah, there's loads of cool stuff that we can do with this plugin now. So I'm going to show you through all them that kind of stuff, okay? Make sure you do like the video, also subscribe. And if you do really enjoy the content and want to support me, come and join me at Patreon. The link is in the description. Put your rock into the stone. Let's go! Right, so let's get all this up and running. It might not actually be on the OBS forums, but this is the uh, the forum where you'd normally find it. Hopefully, by the time that this video is published, it will be on here. Will be on version I don't know one uh, zero point three. I don't know, um, but you can just hit download there. If it's not on there just yet, you can get it from the GitHub page. Both of these links are in the description, and you need to make sure you are logged into GitHub to download it. And you can download the Windows installer, or if you using Mac OS or Linux. Uh, if you are using Windows, I would recommend using the installer because it just makes sure everything runs smoothly for you, okay? So let's open up this beautiful thing. Oh, that's my face, isn't it? So I've got a blank scene here with a webcam on it. We right click, we can start adding filters, press the plus sign for the uh, effects and you'll see freeze on there. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed it correctly. Um, so d try reinstalling it, make sure the file path is correct. Press OK. And as you can see, I've already frozen my face just here. Oh, that, isn't that stunning? Isn't she lovely? I'm going to move that up there just so you can see the preview a little better. There we go. So that is pretty much how the freeze frame worked initially, but he's added so many cool things. So I'm going to take you through the first effect where I kind of had that trippy, like, de demonic effect. So I did that by doing 60 frames just like that. So it's going to pick 60 frames. You can go up to 100. So if I turn the freeze filter off and I'm waving at the camera here um, and I turn it on, it's going to take a second snapshot and it's going to play them at random. It's going to play all of them 60 frames at random. We can change that to loop as well. So it'll loop it. We can do back and forth. And change it. Like I say, you can change it up to 100, but it's going to take it from the moment that you've done that. So as you can see, turn it off, turn it back on. There you go. Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do myself? Play random again. And you get some cool effects that you could probably do. Add some extra filters on there. You can get something really, really uh, intriguing that you probably... I've not really seen that before. So a new effect straight out of the bag. I'm looking at the wrong camera again. A new effect straight out of the bag. So let's turn that off for a second. He's also added this cool mask effect, which I love. If I just freeze frame right now um, just as a solo frame, so a complete still, as you can see, but if I turn this mask off, mask on, sorry, I can uh, pull in the left and the right side. So it's kind of like masking that freeze frame that we had. So th this one that we've got right here, I can draw bits of that in wherever I want. I could draw the, the from the right. I can draw it in from the top. Oh, yeah. Look at la la la. Oh. So I can make some really weird and wonderful effects. Uh, you can change the feathering. So make it so it's a deadline if you really wanted to. But yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I apologize. Um, feathering up as well. So you can get some really nice, cool effects just using that. And that's pretty much it. These can be combined together. So if we pull 60 frames uh, and I start having a little boogie like this, press freeze frame, it's going to pull that boogie. And it's only the top portion there that is going. So I'm going to put it on uh, loop just like that. And we can start masking different areas in as well. Which is pretty cool. There, there are some cool, like it's kind of opening it up for you guys to do whatever you want. There's so many opportunities to make some crazy effects. If I turn like a bit of this feathering off on me, I can be rolling about here as well, and you make some really wonderful things. 
it's pretty cool and there's loads of different things that you can do with it. So just use your imagination, okay guys? They're similar to the, the little sneak peeks that you saw at the beginning of this video. Do something like that and please share what you do, mate. Come and join us in the Discord, share anything that you do create. And if you want to collab with me um, and showcase what content you're making, please let me know. That is something that I'm looking to do in the future. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm always teaching plenty of stuff, okay? Any questions, let me know in the comments. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.